Hey Dungebags, uh, what's going on? It's Landon Remixes here, and I'm hopping on real quick to do a, I guess, kind of off-the-cuff, unscripted video on some thoughts I've been meaning to share for a while now. Um, also, today, uh, coincidentally, or maybe not coincidentally, uh, happens to be my 10-year anniversary on YouTube. Uh, a lot of you probably don't know, that my channel has been around this long because it's been through many different phases, uh, many different types of content, obviously most recently uh, being the music reviews. That type of content has also been the type of content that I've been doing on YouTube uh, for the longest by far. Uh, I've been doing that since like the beginning of 2015, so you know, o over half of my uh, channel's history has been electronic music reviews. But yeah, the fact that I'm putting this video out on my channel's 10 year anniversary is not a coincidence at all. I kind of wanted to wait for an opportunity like this to uh, really voice some thoughts that have been on my mind for a long time uh, because you guys have been out of the loop with a lot of things going on in my life and I feel like that really isn't fair to the people who genuinely enjoy my content um, and are wondering where the heck I am. I guess there's really no easy way to say this so I'm not going to sugarcoat it or anything like that. Uh, I am retiring from making music reviews. I have a review of Joyride's album that I recorded months and months ago that I just need to edit together. I haven't really been able to find the motivation to do it because I've known about since then that I was going to be kind of stepping away. Um, so I need to get that together and put it out on YouTube. And then whenever Porter Robinson's Nurture comes out, that is going to be my last album review. And the significance of that being uh, Porter Robinson's Worlds and the Anthony Fantano review of that album was really what inspired me to start making reviews to begin with. So I feel like um, having my last review be of his second album uh, is just kind of cool and significant. And uh, it's an album, obviously, that I'm going to want to voice a lot of thoughts on. I feel like I owe you guys an explanation for why exactly I'm feeling this way, um, and there are a lot of different reasons, so I'll try to get into it as uh, short and sweet as I can. First and foremost, the single most important reason I feel like I need to step away is that I simply said do not like making music reviews anymore. I started doing this back when I was in high school. I had a ton of free time on my hands, a lot of opinions about music that I wanted to voice. I wasn't really working a ton. Um, I didn't really have like a ton of homework in the way or anything like that. So I had a good space to be able to make YouTube content regularly and do something that was new and exciting. As a lot of you might already know, when I started doing electronic music reviews on my channel, uh, there really wasn't a space on YouTube for that type of content. Of course, there were a lot of other people doing album reviews, reactions, things like that, but in terms of like electronic music, it really wasn't a thing yet. For me, that was very exciting, being able to be like the first person to have a channel like solely dedicated to that type of content. And I hope that I'd be able to make a space for that type of content on YouTube. Needless to say, it did end up happening. A lot of different people came in my wake to kind of fill that gap. People like The Wonky Angle, Arinthesizer, Naughty Step, Rinny, even like the ranking channels like Hideout and Hoxie and Redhawk. So even though some of these guys like Connor and Tommy have long surpassed me in terms of popularity, um, I feel proud. Uh, back to the topic at hand though, I guess one of the main reasons I really don't like doing the music reviews anymore, even just beyond the grueling hours of editing and uploading, babysitting the videos, getting the thumbnails together, all that stuff that goes on, uh, after or outside the recording process, I suppose, is just that I I have a harder time being able to enjoy music now than I used to. I miss being able to just get excited about an album and then just listen to it and enjoy it for what it is rather than, you know, listening through an album or an EP and 
just constantly thinking about what aspects I'm going to talk about on the channel. Um, you know, in that way, I even feel like I need to step back from the rapid fire reviews, even though those aren't nearly as much work as getting a full review together. It's still, you know, the type of video that I feel like I have to mentally have prepare a lot for. I want to be able to get excited about albums and just enjoy listening to them without really having to think about that side of it. Um, you know, obviously uh, critiquing is important and everything like that. It's just uh, not something that I really want to focus on my brain feels you know overloaded and back to what i said before about like the editing process and things like that um that that's probably the main thing that i really don't enjoy the actual recording and editing of these videos generally when i'm doing the music reviews i'm setting aside like half a day to uh, get everything organized. I'm, you know, listening to the album a few more times, kind of gathering my thoughts, and then I basically just sit in front of a camera for like three, sometimes four hours, just trying to make my sentences roll off really nicely. Even right now, I'm you'll, you've probably noticed already that I've had a bunch of cuts because I've had to go back and say things in a way that I... Um, want to. This happens on every single review. I'm constantly stumbling over my words, repeating sentences. Um, it's just not fun. Sometimes I'll even be stumbling over the same line for like five or ten minutes even, and then after that having to spend five or six hours editing the video together and uploading it. Uh, sometimes I'm up till four or five in the morning working on these. And I guess that brings me to my next point, which uh, to you guys might seem kind of random for a second, but I promise it'll make sense when I loop it back. Uh, I'm engaged and I, I don't think I've announced that yet. If you follow me on my personal Instagram, you know that I have a beautiful fiance, Amanda. We've been together for over two years now. I asked her to marry me in February, and uh, yeah, we're, we're getting married this year. But yeah, basically earlier this year, you know, after we had already been engaged, and I think it was after a night of me, you know, working on one of those really long, grueling editing sessions uh, on like a super late night, Amanda and I got talking and she got very emotional um, just bringing up that she didn't want our marriage to be the type of marriage where she's going to bed and I'm just staying up editing super late on my laptop and we're not going to bed together, waking up together. Um, you know, that, that type of thing is important in a marriage. So, you know, hearing her get so emotional about this subject really struck something in me and I realized that's not something that I want in my marriage either. Um, especially for something that I just really don't enjoy doing that much anymore. So after we had that talk, I decided that I either needed to cut way back on the amount that I'm doing YouTube, or I just needed to get rid of it altogether. And ultimately, I just decided that I need to cut out the reviews because that's a vast majority of my content. I do want to keep creating in the YouTube space, but um, doing different types of content. My idea moving forward is that I'm going to continue doing the note block series. I actually really enjoy that. I enjoy having different artists on and talking to them about their passions, um, getting, you know, the inside scoop about their music and things like that. Um, and I know I've only put out the one episode so far, but I feel very confident. I mean, it's a unique uh, type of content that I feel excited about, and a lot of different people have said they're down to do something. The only reason why I haven't recorded more episodes yet is because I moved from uh, back from Idaho to Washington and I haven't gotten my PC set up again and I'm going to be moving again very soon so I, I never felt like it was uh, it was right to get my PC set up. So I'm kind of waiting until I'm in a more permanent space uh, to kind of get that taken care of. And then I'm going to keep doing those maybe once a month, uh, maybe even less frequently. And then I also do enjoy doing the end of the year recaps as well. It may end up just being like top 10 albums, top 10 EPs type of thing. Um, 
I definitely want to be able to highlight music that I like, and that's that's an important thing moving forward. An important reason why I think the note block is good, because I can highlight artists that I'm really enjoying, uh, that I want to share with you guys, and I can highlight, you know, the albums and EPs and songs that really stood out to me throughout the year in an end type of video. And that brings me to another point. Sorry, there are so many points here. I feel like my channel has been perceived as too negative. Uh, in the last couple years, maybe even since the beginning, because I've always posted reviews that were mixed or negative. Uh, but the primary purpose of the channel really is to highlight those artists, those albums, those EPs that really impress me and encourage, you know, my following to be able to check them out, to, uh, you know, build lifelong fans of these people by uh, showing you guys content. And it seems, at least from my perspective, that my videos that really get the most attention are the ones that I'm being more negative or have a controversial opinion, like the Riot video. And while I've enjoyed making content like that in the past, it's really just not how I want to be perceived. I don't want to be looked at as this uh, review boy that just hates everything. Especially now that I'm a lot more involved in the artist management sphere. Like, am I going to be the type of guy that trashes on slander when they have been nothing but supportive of one of my clients, Ace Aura? And I personally made the decision that I don't want to be that guy. I'm not actually sure I've even mentioned that before in a video. I do artist management as a job now. Obviously, it's commission-based, so I have a second job that I uh, do to hold down the fort, but I'm really trying to focus on my artist management work. And I feel like in order to fully immerse myself in this world and be successful um, in this area of the music business that I'm really passionate about, I kind of need to step away from something else that's important in my life, which, you know, for the past five years has been the YouTube channel. I've also just recently come to the realization that uh, when I was doing the reviews regularly, especially in college, I just wasn't taking good care of myself. Even now, having not really looked or taken care of my YouTube channel in over four months, I still feel a lot of pressure, um, you know, between uh, preparing for the wedding, doing my artist management job, working with Rushdown and Stratos Union, uh, my job with Your EDM, uh, my job job, I work uh, produce at a grocery store right now, it's very not exciting, but that's what most of my time in the week goes to, um, and then like talking with my fiance, you know, all the things that uh, are in my life right now beyond YouTube, I have maybe like a half hour or an hour of free time every day to just relax and take care of myself. And a lot of people would probably say that is too much. And, uh, you know, I feel comfortable right now, but uh, not comfortable enough to throw YouTube into the mix too. The only way I could really see YouTube becoming a regular thing in my life again is if I were to make it, you know, my full-time job, you know, replace the, the produce job with YouTube. The thing is, I, I don't really have the time to devote to, uh, you know, build my YouTube channel up and build a, a solid enough following, um, you know, to either have enough Patreons to cover my bills or just get, you know, YouTube ad revenue, but I, I really don't see that happening. And even if I did have enough people who, you know, were on Patreon and said like, oh, we love your content, uh, I want to see you, you know, make exclusive videos and all that stuff, it sounds good in theory, but also it's just like, you know, I don't enjoy doing the music reviews anymore, so there's always that. Here I am stumbling over my words again, but I'm trying not to care. I've already been sitting in front of this camera for almost an hour now, if that helps put anything into perspective. Lastly, before I close this video up, I kind of want to call back to something that I said earlier in the video where, um, you know, I feel like I've accomplished something with this YouTube channel. I've really gone out and uh, done a lot of the things that I set out to do. I never imagined that I'd be in the position that I am today. 5,000 subscribers doesn't seem like a lot in the grand scheme of things, you know, compared to YouTubers with millions of subscribers. But, uh, you know, 10 years ago when I started this channel, uh, you know, I, I never really thought that I'd be able to achieve that type of milestone. I had C418 as a guest on a video, which was an absolute dream come true. I got to interview Captain Sparkles. 
uh, I had a lot of different artists who I look up to a lot uh, feature on this channel, you know, Drulu, uh, Sakura Burst. It genuinely has been a real pleasure having those types of guys on the channel, and it feels like I've accomplished something by featuring them. But now it's time to step back, to refocus my goals, to use the connections that I've made over the last 10 years uh, to help out the artists that I'm managing and to, you know, take my skills in the music business uh, kind of to the next level. Like I said, this doesn't mean I'm completely disappearing from the YouTube space. Uh, I'm still planning on continuing that note block series. It's something new and exciting that I'm really enjoying. And then, uh, you know, the end of the year recap videos as well. And then, you know, I'm also open to doing videos with other YouTubers, maybe hopping on a guest review or two from Naughty Step or The Wonky Angle, just as long as I don't have to edit anything. From the bottom of my heart to all of you guys who have been around for the last five years, or maybe you just subscribed in the last year or so, um, I genuinely appreciate your support every step of the way. Thank you for sticking with me. Thank you for watching my reviews and affirming me, making me feel like my opinions aren't completely useless. But right now, it's time to move on to New Horizons. I'm personally very excited about the things that I'm doing right now. Um, if you want to follow and keep up with what I'm doing with my artist management job, make sure to follow me on Instagram at Outer Loop Landon. I'll have the name, you know, on the bottom here somewhere. I love you guys, and I'll see you soon. Peace.